Hi there guys, Adam from The Beard Solution, back with another video in my post-monoxidil journey update. I'm still out here recording even after my monoxidil journey, a uh, whole nine months now off of minoxidil. So if you want to find out about what I've been doing over the last month, then stay tuned for this update. Without further ado, let's get into it. All these rappers faking, I tell them tuck your chain in, cause when my youngest came in, I swear they had them skating. So since stopping minoxidil nine months ago, I used it for just over two years. If you haven't seen my journey, you can check it out on my channel. Um, I stopped it nine months ago, as I said in the introduction uh, and so far so good all the beard seems to have remained even the things that I thought were kind of like transitional hairs seem to have stayed and I know it can be quite difficult sometimes to tell the difference um, so maybe I just thought that they were transitional and they were actually just very thin terminals I don't really know but they all seem to have stayed apart from just a bit of minor shedding here or there which is completely normal because as mammals we all shed so there we go. Um, in terms of kind of my overall results, I'd say I got pretty average results out of using minoxidil. I'm still very happy with them, um, but I've seen people with far better kind of outcomes from using the product. Uh, for me, I got pretty good coverage from using it, just not great density, particularly on my cheeks. In other areas I did, but particularly not on my cheeks. Um, although what I would say is that there is enough coverage where it kind of makes up for it. Sometimes it can let me down a little bit when uh, the hair is kind of clumped together uh, because it, I do have quite a wavy beard. Uh, it can kind of make the beard look a little bit weaker, but once I've brushed it and I've kind of got it all shaped up, it looks all right. At the moment, I haven't because I'm being lazy, but I think it looks okay. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, as I said. Compared to where I started from, it's a lot better than I, I probably would have ever had, if I'm completely honest. Um, and there's not really much more to update you on. As you can see, I've kind of had my hair and my beard trimmed. Uh, so you'll notice in some of my update photos towards the end of this video for this month uh, that my cheeks, you'll see some shorter hairs at the top of my cheeks. Those aren't new hairs. It's just because when I've kind of uh, had a, a lineup, they've shaved obviously some of the top hairs and they've started to grow back. So they're obviously a little bit shorter than they were before. So it's not like new hair or anything like that. I don't want people to, to think that's what it is. Um, so it's just because I'd had a lineup a couple of weeks ago. And this is the reason why before I was kind of only really going uh, shave my own head because I didn't want to pay for the barbers every two weeks which is what I kind of have to do when I've started letting my scalp hair grow out like this I probably need to get another shape up in a week or so I reckon uh, and that, yeah I don't like paying the cost of that but growing it out for my wedding so there you go um, also uh, there's not really much to update you on on the beard front uh, but I wanted to update a little bit more about the direction that I want to take this channel in so there's not all of it has been fleshed out I guess at the moment there's a few ideas that I had so Obviously, I have mentioned that the Don't Fail the Scale will be coming back, but I think it's going to come back in a slightly different format. I think it's going to be more in kind of a, kind of like challenges. So, for example, like doing 100 press-ups for 100 days or something like that and doing before and after photos, something that is a little bit more kind of a standalone type thing and showing the results from beginning to end in kind of one video. That's kind of the thing that I want to get to a little bit more. Um, mainly because I feel as though sometimes doing these updates, and I don't know how you guys feel, but I feel like a little bit like this now and I thank all of my loyal subscribers that still come back to watch these updates because I feel as though they're getting a little bit stale I don't really feel as though I have enough uh, content to give you on this topic anymore in regards to how my beard is without just saying the same things over and over again so I will continue to do it until the year is up uh, but after that point I don't think I'll be doing further update videos um, on that uh, I did mention about doing a minoxidil chest hair journey I'm still not completely decided on that yet although most of the votes in my month 7 post minoxidil update seem to be voting for me to, to do that uh, but I've noticed anyway in the past kind of like um, 3 or 4 months I've just generally had more chest hair growing it's been a bit weird actually uh, out of nowhere other videos that I'd quite like to do uh, I'd quite like to shift away from just doing beard stuff as I said so still with the fitness stuff uh, but also do some more stuff around around other kind of things that affect men uh, particularly so uh, I'm going to be going over scalp hair stuff I think quite a bit as well um, mainly because uh, I need to research more into it so that I can understand how to style my hair better because uh, I have a real problem when I start to grow my hair um, that it sticks up all over the place uh, and also um, I am suffering from premature greying or I think it's premature greying anyway in my family it's pretty common we go grey early um, but uh, earlier than, than then a little bit but uh, I kind of have a few ideas why that's why from some of the research that I've done but also I wanted to do a video on kind of premature greying because I think that's a, another interesting one although I'm not too fussed about me going a little bit grey to be honest uh, but 
Uh, again, it's something that runs my family, so obviously genetics are going to be a big part of it. But I want to do a kind of a standalone video on that kind of stuff. Uh, and, and as I said, other things that affect men. And I think just to kind of broaden the scope a little bit of the channel, because I feel now as though, uh, although this has been a great niche to be kind of part of, I feel as though the channel's got to a point now where if I don't diversify and grow it a little bit, um, people are going to get very bored and very tired of the subject matter if they haven't already. So that's pretty much my stance on that, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But I don't want to take any more of your time going through all of this stuff. So I'm just going to sign off the video now and leave you with my update photos from when I stopped using Minoxidil to the present day. Uh, but thank you very much for watching this video. If you made it this far, please do hit the like button uh, if you did like it. Uh, Please also leave a comment in the comment section below uh, if you want to ask me any questions or you have any queries or you just want to give me some suggestions for some videos or something like that. Um, and yeah, make sure that you uh, subscribe uh, if you haven't already. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Yo, I done six shows in a row, so my voice is hurting. Fans wanna hear what you're in person. Boy, oi. She want a man from Brom, but she settled with a boy from Burton. I still see feds on the block, still see the boy them lurking. He thinks I'm a poisonous person, inside a boyfriend's burning. There's too many keyboard warriors, Yang screen, you're anonymous. And there's far too many MCs in the game that just want fame. They spent peas on followers, bruv, it's crazy. Guns ain't wavy. I've got a gift, that's what God gave me. What, you don't rate me? Cause I ain't got a blue tick, but I got one on the top now, it gave me. Just the things we feel. Yeah. They thought I lost it. They must have lost it. I thought I lost it. I must have lost it. Do it till I'm killed and my blood drips. They got my bro in a cage like a hostage. So if I get hold of the system, I'm choking the victims. I'm literally savage. I'm splitting the racket like ocean wisdom. Splitting the racket. Causing criminal damage at Wimbledon matches. These niggas can't hack it. I'm in it. I'm active. I just want to see the man that prevail. But they got my little bro back in jail, three L's They got Mad Mike on Bell It's like they wanna see the whole streets in the cells what's real? I don't even know what's real What's real? Is it just the things we feel? They got my little bro back in the cage Always been a bad boy from back in the day And now the feds trying to carry him away